Hello everyone, Ian here, and today I have a smaller coffee brand, or at least perceptibly smaller than the previous one I reviewed. I have Good Citizen Coffee Co. This one says it was manufactured by Stay Golden Coffee, so there might be the prospect of bonus history in this episode. I have their Hang Tough blend. Based off of their packaging, I don't think it's supposed to be a masculine Hang Tough, maybe just more of like a, a neutral one. Like, hey, hang tough, more instead of a hang tough. <laughs> anyway, I'll jump into their history. So, with Good Citizen Coffee Company, I had to do a little bit more, a little bit more research on this one. So, Good Citizen and Stay Golden, they, on their website, it's very bare bones about who they are as a company. The gist of what they have is basically they started in Nashville in 2018 and see themselves more as a lifestyle brand than a coffee brand. And then the rest of their About Us page is kind of the usual fluff and filler about sustainability and responsibility, which is great, but it feels like a lot of coffee companies just have two-thirds of their About Us pages, those fillers. Um, but thanks to kind of sleuth around, poke my nose around, I was able to find out that there are four managing partners of both Stay Golden and Good Citizen, and it was founded in Nashville in 2018. Good Citizen is a brand name under the Stay Golden Coffee LLC umbrella, and I can also tell you that Stay Golden also operates a restaurant slash event space in Nashville, and ever since I found that out, I was a little jealous of Nashville, because that means they have a roastery slash restaurant slash event space all in one, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So now that I've just jot on for a few minutes here, let's take this hang tough blend from Good Citizen, mix it with this good Dakotian mug, see if that flavor is hanging tough. Got my good citizen coffee, the Hang Tough Latin American blend. Uh, 
when I first saw the packaging, I'll admit it all looks very plain Jane, but uh, heck, it was on a heck of a sale at uh, Home Goods, so I figured why not give it a try. I also saw that it's based out of Nashville, so when I saw Hang Tough, probably isn't like a tough Hang Tough, like Hang Tough, just because they. <laughs> There's not really any masculine design in the packaging, but said it was a, like a coffee and, sorry, it is a coffee. The, it's the labels on the packaging that has like a chocolate and um, molasses kind of flavor. So let's give it a rip. Definitely so, smells more molasses-y than most coffees. It's not off-putting, but it's definitely not the most welcoming coffee smell. Hmm. All right, good citizen. Good Citizen Hang Tough Latin American Blend. I'll, I'll give it one little, little more sip ski here. Yep, I think first sip was right. Uh, this one, it's not an oof. This one is not an oof coffee. I am very glad that it's not an oof coffee. Um, I always get a little bit worried when you know, packaging is very plain Jane, but sometimes, you know, the cover can be deceiving. But it is also not an oh yeah coffee. This one is not one I would highly recommend to friends, but this is like upper tier meh. This is, this is meh, you know? Like if a hotel had this coffee, I wouldn't complain. This is better than most hotels' coffees, actually. Uh, so good citizen gets, eh, you know, meh. You know, good citizen meh. It's not good. Not sorry. I should. It's not great. It's also not terrible. Very solidly upper. Meh. So yeah, that's good, citizen. If you've tried it, feel free to you know let me know in the comment box below if you've tried it and what you thought about it. If you want to try it, I'll include a link below on where you can grab your own good citizen hang tough Latin American blend coffee. And as always. I'll include a link where you can pick up your own Dakotian mugs. And until next time, see you next time.